T Major, and I'm here today with William St. Brains, like clockwork, bass player extraordinaire. And I just have a few short, sweet, quick questions from the man behind the X. This man right here, William St. St. Brains. So, are you from Georgia originally? Yes, I am. Are you? I am. Oh, I didn't take you for a southern boy. I thought you were more like a Midwest kind of just suburban. Well, that, that's probably because I, I don't talk like Vegas. <laughs> no, I, I was born in, in uh, Decatur and I lived there until uh, two weeks ago. Oh, really? So, what do you do? A block away. Oh, awesome. So, that's convenient in case you want to have about 25 more kids. Exactly. <laughs> so, William St. Ray's, my second question for you is. I noticed that you, you have a very personal listener. So I want to know what your favorite artists were in rock and jazz. Well, in both of those, I'm all over the place. Yeah. Uh, in rock, it's from anywhere from uh, Mars Volta to the Unicorns and plenty in between. And in jazz, it's uh, Herbie, you know, anywhere from like Herbie Hancock yeah. to uh, John Coltrane and Miles Davis. Of course. And, um, and then there's also uh, the Bad Plus, which is uh, oh, more modern. Yeah. They're more modern uh, jazz trio. They cover like smells like Teen Spirit. They just take it so far outside that uh, you're not really sure what you're listening to. So my last question today for William St. Ray's bass player extraordinaire is uh, what instrument did you learn to play first? I know you play a variety of instruments. Uh, very first, I think it was sax. Sax? I started playing sax in elementary school right around the same time as I started. Uh, taking piano lessons. And then I uh, decided I didn't like my piano teacher and <laughs> had to learn the instrument, uh, had to learn the instrument myself, which is what made me learn how to learn an instrument. Yeah. Like once you once you've done it once you can sort of get you know, the instructions but you sort of get the instruction how to learn it. Right. Well, that's my time today with William St. Brains, bass player and short there, like Brains of Black Clockwork, and I am interviewing the drummer from Black Clockwork, Mr. Tony, also known as T Major, also known as occasionally T Bone or T Bag, but that's really <laughs> nice. uh, a little bit more personal, I think, we're going to get today. And um, Tony, I, I, I'm aware that you knew Jesse before I did, yes. and I want to know how long you've known this Jesse Aston. Oh, this is the one Jesse Aston, Jesse Owen Aston, for all those that don't know him as well as me. Um, Jesse I met fucking asked Jesse, well. Jesse fucking asked. That's another good one. Um, I met Jesse, oh my gosh, I guess it had to be around maybe 2000, something like that, in Atlanta, Georgia. I saw this saw this little guy playing guitar in this band, just going eight shit, going crazy, man, throwing things around. I was like, oh my god, I could not believe it. I thought this guy was maybe like 20 at the most. Found out that at the time like, he was 17. Like, oh shit! So I went up to him after the show and just shook his head and said hello. And then I caught up with him again a couple of years later when I was in a band. A friend of mine who was a photographer knew him, and I wanted to get him in this band so bad because I knew that he was, he was the missing ingredient. And uh, luckily he joined, he came out and auditioned, everyone loved him, of course. And uh, we just got to know each other through that. So playing in a band together, Travis D. Theory from Mississippi. Oh, that was one answer to a short question. Oh, yeah. uh, but it gave us a little history. And, uh, yes. The other, another thing I wanted to ask you is, you uh, you play, well, we wouldn't call it a large kit. You you play a very stripped down kick, you know, a very stripped down kit with a small kick and otherwise small drums. And I was wondering uh, uh, why you have chosen that over, you know, the gargantuan Neil Peart kit because No, no, not, not gargantuan, <laughs> the Peart direction. Uh, like, gargantuan is in like, you know, the big 24-inch basement. Like, you know, um, little, you know. Because I can't afford that right now. <laughs> That's one good answer. And two, the drum set that I play on, I just happened to find it in Memphis when I was up there with the band. And uh, it was an affordable price when I bought it. <laughs> and I made it work. So that's pretty much how I use it. Alright. And that, that's two of my three questions. And my last question was something like, um, does Elton John know you stole his shirt? Oh, yes he does, as a matter of fact. And i got to go back to his crib and give it to him later. Alright. Well, in exchange for this shirt, he let me yank off the toupee. So he doesn't let it to him. Alright. Leave a trade. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alright.
smokes cigarettes. What kind do you smoke? Uh, Newport Shorts. Awesome. <laughs> so, uh, tell us about how you came to Atlanta and started making music. Uh, I came to Atlanta in 2000. And the day I moved here, I met some really good people. and. Uh, been going off from there. I moved up here to pursue my music career. Awesome. Y2K. No doubt. Yeah. Where did you live before that? Uh, Macon, Warner Robins, down south. Go down till you see the cow pastures, take a left, right down on the right. Awesome. Yeah. Ain't shit down there. <laughs> I want you to tell the camera how you introduce yourself to people. How do I introduce myself to people? Yeah. What's up? I'm Pete. What's up? I don't know. You know Listen the, to this. You know the thing, the uh, <laughs> door, the feeders, bottom. Bottom feeders are greedy, that's why they feed on the bottom. I'm talking Hillary Rodham, Bushnader, Powell, and Sodom, Bin Laden, Cheney, Purdue, New and a few are forgotten. Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, living, receptive to Sodom. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a session with Peter Burley, keyboard, synths, background vocals, and tambourine. Everything. Goodbye. What's up? This is Pete, interviewing Jesse. Fucking ass from <laughs> Can't forget the fucking. <laughs> What's your goal in all this? Honestly, I just want to make music and touch people. That's all I think I've ever wanted to do. That's why it's the fucking Aston. Yeah, it's Jesse fucking Aston. It's kind of like one of those things where that makes people take me seriously. You know, you see that. And like, yeah. Jesse's got to be pretty serious. I just make music to get chicks. <laughs> it doesn't work. Half the time. Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. So, uh, where do you see this band in a year? In a year? My, and Tony knows this too. My main goal is to take over Atlanta. Let's do it. Let's do it. And how can we help to do this? You guys have helped more than you'll ever know. By being in my band and playing your instruments. No doubt, man. Well, I want to I wanna tell you that uh, I appreciate you having me in your band, bro. And it's oh, fucking yeah. an honor to fucking play with you. And all, all of y'all. It really is. I, I love it, and uh, it's good shit. Yes, and let's do it. Yeah, man. I'm all about it.